today's turbulent political economic climate, I propose that there are four crucial factors to consider in tackling issues relating to youth and gender. First, we must be mindful of the fact that 60% of our population will be under the age 30 in a few years ahead of us. This is why it is so important and critical that we systematically reform all our institutions and all our systems to effectively address the aspirations of our youth in this country. Second, second we need meaningful quality and comprehensive education that goes beyond access and numbers and responds to the future we can actualize. Third, we must leverage on vocational and technical training to equip many into fulfilling and creative and meaningful work. Such will advance our development. Fourth, Fourth, we must provide opportunities that transcend political patronage, connection, the practice of whom you know. We need equal opportunity and fair opportunities based on merit, and these are imperative for sustainable economic growth. The time for that shift is now. Truth be told, despite all our challenges, Ghana remains a special place where any dream should be possible, where every aspiration matters, where everyone, be it a little boy from Boli or a little girl from Komenda, can and should aspire to be anything they want to be, even president even vice president. And this is why we love our country so much. We must continue to make this country a place we cherish and are proud to belong to, a place of opportunities. In the past and more so recently, I have had extensive discussions with His Excellency John Mahama about issues confronting our country and his vision for the coming years. These have been broad, passionate, and engaging. In John Mahama, and you have to work closely to get to know other aspects of him, you'll find a person who is thoughtful, visionary, makes no claim to perfection, and admits his mistakes and missteps, and valuable lessons learned from them. Surely, our society is better served with such down-to-earth, considerate, and reflective leadership. We have chosen the path of peace, inclusiveness, self-reliance, leading to belief in ourselves to solve our problems. It is an important avenue through which to turn our current circumstances into opportunities that yield great dividends for us all. And us in this context should and must include generations unborn. It is our business to think about them also. <laughs>